What's going on YouTube? The parts that I ordered from China are finally here, 45 days later. And uh, what I have in here is what we're going to be doing today, replacing the extruder nozzle. Alright, so what we're going to want to do here is actually heat up the nozzle to a, right about 100 degrees Celsius or 110. Uh, right around there so we could actually remove the filament okay, let's turn that up to a hundred and eight that's fine now why we're we doing a hundred and eight or a hundred and ten or whatever is because we want the filament to be just soft enough so we can remove it but not melt it to a point where we'll leave a lot of the remnants behind so this is the best way to actually remove the filament from the extruder head without having to leave a lot of the old filament behind. All right, while we wait, I'm just going to show you what type of um, extruder nozzles I have. And there are four different sizes. One is 0.1, then 0.2, then 0.3, then 0.4. And most default uh, extruder nozzles are 0.4, and you can go as low as 0.2 on your printing. I've seen lower, but it makes like a re really wide wall. So um, what we're going to be replacing today is the point 0.3. So that way I could actually print at point 0.1 or point 0.5 without having that thick wall. And uh, again, the reason why we're doing this is uh, uh, for quality. Now if you wanted to prototype like I normally do, um, you would go for speed. And that's what I would always almost prefer. But sometimes you just need the quality so you would lower the nozzle size and that's what you do here. All right, what we're going to need is a monkey wrench and also some sort of pliers. If I had a socket wrench, this would have went a lot faster. But because of my because of me being super lazy, I didn't want to get one and now I'm making my life 10 times harder so I'm just gonna fast forward this part and warp it to the end when this piece is out now this part yes your nozzle head is still your extruder head is still warm or really hot in this case but you could use your hand to actually like try to get the threads in first because this is still cold so, but you got to do it quick to make sure you don't burn yourself because it will actually transfer heat really quick I already feel it going through and I can't even get the nozzles in. There we go. And that got really hot already. Alright, there you have it. The nozzle is replaced with a 0.3 millimeter. And uh, all we have to do now is heat up the bed, I mean heat up the nozzle, and uh, reinstall our filament. Changing the nozzle size to a smaller size will result in better quality. But again, um, you, the trade-off is time. Now, because I prototype a lot, I prefer time over quality. So that's, uh, that's up to you, that's your opinion. If you need to print out something in high quality or high resolution, that's the option you would go for. I have a buddy at another channel called Novice Expert. He just did a similar change to a Robo 3D printer. Go check him out. He's got awesome videos. Uh, he's got a lot of tutorials and upgrades for the Robo 3D also. I'm going to post the link in the descriptions below and also on a card. All right, if you have any questions, please leave it in the comments below. And if you'd like to watch more videos like this, hit that little subscribe button on the bottom. Thanks. Thanks for watching my video. Please take a moment to subscribe. It helps me a lot. And if you haven't watched my previous videos, I'll post a link right here.